The marital woes of John and Kate Gosselin proved to be a ratings bonanza for their reality TV show and parent company, TLC. It's going to be 11. The double episode drew a record 9.8 million viewers, good numbers for network TV, pure gold on cable. To put that in perspective, the show set a ratings record just two years ago with just under 3 million viewers. One thing the unhappy couple could agree on during the broadcast, their anger at what they consider intrusive media coverage of their media-covered lives. I have paparazzi standing outside my house. Did I ever think I'd see myself on the front of a tabloid um, or see those words or read those words that are there? No. Um, it kills me. But the media isn't going away anytime soon. The latest issue of Us Weekly claims Kate had John on a $5 a day allowance at one point. Monday, Kate admitted that the pressure and attention has had an effect on the two of them. Very swiftly, we turned into two different people, and it's just hard. All this drama from just the season opener means viewers are sure to stay tuned. Michelle Galen, CBS News, New York. And joining us now for an exclusive interview are Kate Goslin's brother and sister-in-law, Kevin and Jody Kreider. Good morning to you both. Mm. Good morning. This is very interesting because over the weekend, a lot of people were saying, I don't even know who these people are. And suddenly they have li really exploded mm -hmm. in the American consciousness. Mm -hmm. And years ago when this reality show started, you all were sort of involved in it, weren't mm -hmm. you? Yes, we were. We were yeah. And what was the idea initially? Here's this family. They have eight children. Mm -hmm. We'll do a reality show. Was it almost like a, a sort of a documentary process? Exactly. They, it started out that way, and, and that was a really neat thing to be a part of, thinking that, you know, the, the children are, um, the, a little bit of their life is being captured. But um, it quickly, w we thought it was very innocent at the time. Right. And um, it, I, the first season started, I think, eight episodes. And um, it quickly turned into um, more and more demands from John and Kate from the network. And right. It turned into 40 episodes in a six-month span. Right. And um, also, it um, there were cameras in the children's bedrooms at one point, and they were filming all year round. And these were very huge concerns for us. Right. And we right. spoke to them about that. Mm -hmm. And um, we talked to John and Kate. Yes. About that. Oh, of course. And they their response was, you know, this is our choice. This is what we want to do. Right. Just respect that. What do you think changed? as those demands grew, as the camera time grew, as the sort of visibility grew? What was, it, what was the, the change that concerned you the most? Well, I think we're, we're speaking out now because um, we want to be the voice of our nieces and nephews. And um, we're, we're seeing it turn tide that they're vi being viewed as a commodity right. that... Um, I'm sorry. Well, it's that an they, it's clear, this is clearly an emotional issue for you. Right. You could want to go in. They're they're being exploited, mm -hmm. and um, it's time for America to see the situation for what it really is, right. which is um, unfortunately there are no laws protecting children in reality TV shows, mm -hmm. and it's time for the public to be aware of this and that. These, these children are very aware of the cameras in their homes. Their home is their workplace, and this is not a healthy environment for kids to be raised in. When you've tried to broach this subject with your sister and her husband, what has their reaction been? We have talked to them many times about, you know, about the subject, and, and they have often said, you know, hey, you know, this is kind of our lives, this is what we chose, this is how we're going to provide for them. And when we feel that They've chosen this path, and um, with disregard to their children's safety, security. Mm -hmm. The um, effects it's going to have. Now there are effects already being, you know, signs mm -hmm. already, and the life. Like what? Um, like they don't want the cameras around. They have told me personally, I, I don't like. Nieces and nephews, of course. Them. Yeah, we watched them quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, about a year ago and and further back and you know they would say Aunt Jody I don't like the cameras on every vacation with us I don't like them mm. you know and, and two you know kids have bad time bad moments they they cry and and having a camera zoom in on you know a crying right. child I mean this is just this is this should not be a form of entertainment are you estranged now from your sister and her husband I do talk to Kate and John yeah we haven't seen the kids in a while, which is hard. Um, 
but yeah, our relationship has definitely been strained now. Um, what we hope is that they will kind of come around, see the effects, see what's most important. Mm -hmm. And they're very um, lost right now. They're very blinded by all of this media and this, you know, the fame and the fortune. And Every time you go to the newsstand, there's another of cover course, and another cover and of another course. cover. And it is time to really put priorities first, which is they say they're children, but clearly their actions are showing something. You say something that they complete. say their children is their They top say priority. their children is their priority, mm -hmm. but clearly it is not. Mm -hmm. This must be so painful for you to have this what seemed to start so innocently spill over into uh, this kind of national yes. sensation. Yes. And it can't be easy, I imagine, for you to come here and say, no. you're almost begging your, your family yes. members to walk it's hard away from it, this. Yes, could they walk, do you think they could walk away? No. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. No. I think a focus is that laws do need to be passed. Protecting protect children, children in reality TV shows because yeah. these shows are popping up for all the over future. the place. Yeah. Yeah. And it's time for people to see that. All these subsequent rumors, though, that this has also had an effect on their marriage. Do you mm -hmm. have any sense that mm -hmm. they're together or not? Well, in their season premiere, you know, it, it's very clear that they are not. Mm -hmm. um, and it is tragic. It is just about nine months ago, they went to Hawaii and did a vow renewal, yeah. and that was for ratings. But you know, the viewers felt that it was, mm -hmm. you know, true. And um, and here, you know, I can't is imagine true. as a child realizing that my birthday party, that all the outings that my parents took me on were because you know ratings for ratings right. and um, mm -hmm. all organized by production companies. And last but not least, do you think the television company has any responsibility? Does TLC? Well, is that about? The cash register, or is there any part of them that is sitting there thinking, what is what is good for these children? Unfortunately, I think it, it has come down to all about the ratings, mm. and no one is looking at these children as what they are going through and the life consequences mm. they are going to have as they right. get older. Kevin and Jody, we thank you for coming Thanks on. Thanks for morning. having us. Yeah.